Playtime City friends! Today we're playing Universe Sandbox and we're turning all the planets into stars! Woo! We're having an all-star solar system! So we're gonna get the sun and then we're gonna make the sun bigger. Why do we have to make it bigger, Mike? Because I want to planet I want the planets to be in orbit around the sun. Why can't we just keep the sun at the same size, though? Because there's three different things ca that can happen. Um, the first thing is they can go into binary. The second thing, they can collide and supernova. And the third one, the planets could have more mass than the sun and then just slurp the sun up. Oh, so we have to make it bigger. Yeah, so we have to make it way bigger. We're gonna make the mass about 100,000 times the mass of the sun. So there we go. Now we are going to get Mercury. I'm gonna put it at around its normal distance, about three and a half AU. And Mercury's actually moving around super fast. And then what we do is we just we just gotta increase the the mass. Bang bang. And then bing bing. Now Whoa. it's a gas giant and there. Wow. And so it's gonna rotate around our sun. Yeah. And we're gonna actually make um Mercury blue hot. So it's a blue star. Yeah. And there, so that's Mercury. Now we're gonna get Venus in here. Get it at around its normal distance at about 70% of an AU. And then we're going to increase, 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 increase. And there, Venus is a star. I don't know why this is happening. But we are going to make Venus, like, extremely hot. We're going to make the brightness higher so that um, it stays very, very hot. Whoa. So all you did was increase the mass as well. Yeah. And then the brightness. For Earth, we're going to actually have to pause. Because since Venus is so hot, it's going to instantly evaporate Earth. <laughs> yeah. And we're actually going to do the carbon dioxide way for Earth because I want Earth to have like that uh, accretion disk. Okay, but we don't want it to supernova, right? Yeah, so like bang, bang. And then we do like bang, bang, bang. And then we play it. So now it's a star. And then we just turn this guy up. Whoa. So, so there, and actually we're in the new update, so the appreciation disc is, look, a lot more realistic. Yeah, I see. And we're also going to make the earth, um, hotter. So, like, we're going to get that, we're going to make it, like, um, like, right around 3,000? Celsius so that it has orange and and we have the appreciation disc for Earth. And will they rotate in orbit with no problems? Yes. Awesome. Alright, we got three stars. Orbiting our main star. Hey Playtime City friends, before we go on to Venus, we need you to do some work for us. Smash that like button and if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Then let us know in the comments which planet you like best as a star. And if you really want to do some more work, drop some suggestions on what we should do in our next Universe Sandbox video. Thanks friends! Okay, so now we get Mars. We're going to put it at its normal distance. And we're gonna grab Mars, increase its mass to about there, and then we're gonna increase the heat to about, um, so we're gonna do like 1,500, so it gets like a very red star. 
It's still RNG, but that's what we would consider like a red star. Yeah, because like we're in the new update, so that like red stuff is like a little bit more orange. And they all orbit fine. Awesome. So now what are you going to do with Jupiter? Because Jupiter is pretty much close in size. Well, not close, but it is a big planet. It will so. it will take uh, less uh, multiplying to oh, turn okay. it into gas giant. Oh, so there's not much work that needs to be done for it to become Yeah, so we star. get it at 5 AU. And then we only have to do two two doubles. And then we get the heating. We'll do like an orange star. So we'll do like two, 2,500. So that we get this very orange. Tent. And we lost all their, their stripes and the, the big red spot is gone. Yeah. <laughs> For Saturn and Uranus, we're actually going to have its rings around. And Saturn's actually not... Br oh yeah, Saturn is going to about to burn. So I have to I have to pause it again. And then ding, ding, ding. This time we have to do three. And then we'll also do um, like 2,000. Oh, that's... Kelvin, I want I want Celsius. 2000 Celsius. Okay, but I don't see the rings. Or are they still there with them? Oh yeah, I can do Oh, what is that? Whoa. Oh, that's a that's Whoa. a solar flare. Coming from Saturn? Yeah, that's a literal solar flare. And then we wow. can do like add Saturn's ring right will the ring survive yeah oh wow except the rings are extremely extremely hot and is saturn spinning around fast or is the yeah yeah no it's just the time and uh, yeah the time is sped up okay Actually let's slow it down and let's see saturn going a little slower with its rings because I wanted to see that up close. Oh yeah. Whoa. How pretty is that? And you can actually see the rings move in, in this time. Well, they're not ice and dust anymore. What are they? They're molten lava. Orange hot. Wow. That's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah. Okay, so now we do Uranus. So we get that, and then we want it orbit to about there at its normal distance at 20 AU. Bop, 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 bop. Half it. And then we do... We're gonna make it like a cool, rel relatively cool star. Only about 1,000 Celsius. And then we're gonna change the visuals to make it like blue. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so like we have a blue star and it's only at 1,000 Celsius. And on to... Neptune, we're gonna put it right here. I can't believe how far Neptune is from the sun. Yeah, and then we go over here, and then we're going to do one, two, three, four, four doubles. And then we'll make it a little smaller. And then we'll do like, Whoa. oh. So like we'll make it like that and then I want it I want the radius to be a little smaller just so that it's like not like too well. And then since Neptune is super cold, I'm just gonna set it. I'm just gonna set the temperature to a 
to a nice and smooth 500 so there's basic so it looks like nothing but if we zoom in wow i do see little speckles of red yeah we get the slightest ever red awesome but it's now considered a sun right yeah pretty cool are we gonna do the dwarf planet the kicked out planet pluto yeah we're gonna do pluto okay okay so we get pluto pause time pluto get right about here and how how many times do you have to increase it because it is a small planet you have to increase it one two three four five six seven eight and then half it because i don't want it too big okay there we go for some reason it's growing lock the radius can you lock it or no like there is good and then we're gonna set it to five thousand five hundred bang whoa yeah it, now that's really a sun yeah all right much how about we customize some of them make them look different yeah we'll we'll change some of these so change mercury visuals we go to the heat glow change the color and then we're gonna make mercury kind of like a brownish orangish so that it's like oh that's pretty cool it does kind of look like mercury's color yeah oh i like that i like that much better you're gonna change venus yeah, we're gonna change Venus to like a yellowy type. Whoa, that is super bright. Imagine if that was our actual sun. Yeah. Okay, Earth, I think Earth is pretty cool. Yeah. Or do you want to change it to like a, a blue green? Yeah, we'll change the color to like a green. Nice and shiny green. Whoa, I see it. Whoa, that's awesome. It doesn't look like Earth anymore. It's a green star, Mars. Mars is pretty orangey, but can we make it more red? Yeah, make it a little bit more red. Whoa, red. yeah, that's pretty cool. I like, like that. Right, right there. No, because that kind of looks like, yeah, that's better. Like That right. kind of looks like Venus. <laughs> that, right, <laughs> I right, like that one. <laughs> right, right in the like, No, because it looks like Mercury. Let's leave it like that. You don't like that? Or like that. That that seems close enough. No, look, zoom work. in. It uh, it looks like Mercury to me. <laughs> Come on now. Okay, I'll do the I'll do the full red. Good, awesome. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Now, Jupiter. Jupiter, I'm gonna make more more tanny. Uh, the, like right about there should be good enough. That's awesome. And we're also gonna add Jupiter's ring. Wow, that looks cool, much. These ones are also molten lava, not orange hot, but super, super close to it. Oh, that's amazing. Yep. I'm gonna make Saturn a little bit more yellowy, just like that. Awesome. And look at those rings are going crazy. Yep. All right, and let's see. Are you going to do anything to Uranus? I'm not going to change the color, but I'm I'm still going to add add Uranus Uranus's rings. Yeah, look Very at that. Very faint, but you see them. Look at that. And then some of these. You see the name. <laughs> yeah, let's slow slow down time. You can see it a little bit better. Like pause. It's not molten hot. But, like, it comes pretty close to being molten. Pretty cool. Let's press play and see it again. Oh, I like their rings. Ooh, that looks cool Lame. from that distance. Look at that. So Neptune has the slightest red right now, so we're gonna change this to... Whoa, it oh, now, now it's super bright. Make it... I like that. That's pretty cool. Very bl bluish indigo, like that. Okay, so it's more of an indigo planet. 
Are we adding rings to Neptune? Because I do know they have rings. Yeah, too. we're gonna we're gonna add rings to Neptune. There's no like pff, Neptune ring preset. We can do the two to four radius ring, and then we will do change. We'll change the four into a three. And then that should get the perfect Neptune ring, just like that. Awesome. And these ones are not, like, very hot. They're only, like, 20... They're only, like, 48... Degrees Celsius? Yeah, Celsius. Awesome. Are you doing anything to Pluto? I'm going to... I'm I'm going to leave Pluto how it is right now. Okay, well now let's go and do star hopping again. Let's go back, take the grid off, and start back from the sun. Sun. Awesome. Mercury. Green. Very brown. Good. Venus. Where's Venus? Venus is right over here. True to its color. Earth. I Earth. think Earth is the coolest sun of all. Right? What do you think? Yeah, very green and awesome. Awesome is right. Okay, Mars. I like Mars too. You didn't want it to make it that red, but I think that's cool. Jupiter! Where's our friend Jupiter? Jupiter. With his the ring. ring. Yeah, his ring system is very like stable. Right? It seems like nothing's going out of flow. It's yeah. moving at a good pace. Pretty cool. Saturn. Saturn. Saturn has too many. That's basically it. Look at it. It's just crazy. Yeah, a lot of rings. Okay, now... Uranus. Uranus. And I think his ring system, the colors. One is going fast in the middle. Yeah, like the inner one is like orange and then outer it's like more red mm -hmm. and then like it's like gray and stuff. Yep, I think that's pretty cool. Neptune! And Neptune's is similar to Saturn's as far as like the amount of, and how thick the ring system is, I guess. Yeah, and then like, but like the thickness is not like a lot bigger, but... Somewhat, yeah, somewhat. Similar. And let's go to Pluto. Neutron. We didn't do anything with Pluto. Pluto just looks the same. Awesome. Well, Playtime City friends, hope you enjoyed seeing how we change all our planets into stars. They are all stars. Each one of them are unique and different, but they all look awesome, right, Mudge? Yeah. All right, we'll catch you in the next video. See you later. Bye. Bye. From the All-Stars. <laughs>